Hey, are we live? Hey, what's up? I'm Paul Gorman, Golfcation Pro, taking you on the best golf travel experiences of your life. All right, but today I got Stephanie. She's an experienced golfer of all of two years. I showed her a little bit of how to dip the right side, kind of rock the baby, and finish like Ben Hogan. Now, I can't tell you everything. You have to watch the video, but like, comment, subscribe below, and I'll get back to you ah, just in a little bit. That was huge for you. Yeah, it is huge. Right? Yes. Now, we're talking about someone here who's a physio, right? Through which athletic stretch do you help people with? Yes. What? What's your specialty? Well, I your business. Pilates. Pilates. Yes. <laughs> so, it's totally aware of her body, right? Well, we noticed that your shoulders were really kind of protracted, protracted like out, this. right? Yeah. Reaching way out and so as soon as we got you to relax and kind of retract the uh, the scaps and to you know into a little bit more of a natural feel, things got really good. I don't know. <laughs> right? <laughs> well, they got they got a lot better. They got a lot better. Yeah. So how about a little bit of keep doing what you are doing. But then add in a little bit of your face in the target when you're done, you know? When I'm done. Yeah. Okay. Just kind of do that same back swing and soft with the retraction of the relaxed scaps back here, right? So the wing blades are coming so back. I'm not a little. like this. Correct. Yes. Yeah, there you go. Like this. Just wants to go there, doesn't it? I'm exaggerating. Yeah. Where I'm hitting, like, do when I you do go that under the ball, when you hit that shot, yes. Oh, you're hitting the very top of it, yes. Okay, so but I do I want to hit like this? No, no, you don't want to scoop it, like but that. you just want to get almost uh, to the point where it doesn't have to be exact. That's the key is that you can hit a little bit back here, it's fine. It just needs to find a low spot here and go through, right. In other words, your club can come this low to the ground and keep coming, right? Right. Matter of fact, let me get my whiteboard out because that's going to be helpful. I feel like I have no power. I don't know why. Well, you're not putting a bunch into it right now, though. Right. Because you're making a little bit of an abbreviated swing. Mm -hmm. And then, you know, the follow through I kind of want you to go, that's going to help you compress the ball and get through it. Mm -hmm. Maybe get a little bit more... Uh, more speed on the golf ball. Mm -hmm. When you're taking your club, let's say your club is coming in this way, right? Mm -hmm. You're just looking for something that has a, what I call a bottom to it. Right. That's close to where the ball is. In other words, if this is the ball right here and your club's coming in, all you can hit a little here, a little here, a little behind and keep moving it through and hit a little of that grass too. Mm -hmm. And you're gonna be good, okay? So you don't have to just try to aim right for the ball. Okay. The idea would be catching maybe a little bit of the grass behind the ball and brushing right on through while you unwind. You follow me there? Mm-hmm. It was like a, it's like a wave, you know, like a surfer coming down. He's coming down the big steep part of the wave and then he's cruising into the glass. Mm -hmm. That's where your club's coming, right in here and then going right out there. Okay. You know? There you are, the hair going and everything. Oh, so pretty. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's surfing. So can my body do it. <laughs> yeah, totally can do it. Let's go right there where the grass is good. Okay. Let's do a practice swing, right? Kind of relax. What club do you have too? An eight. Okay. Eight's good actually. Hey, now do that again. We're gonna go a little bit bigger swing, okay? So okay. I'm gonna come in there with you. Okay, you go ahead and swing back a little bit like you normally do. Okay, now we're going to turn your hips a little bit more and let your arms go a little further back, all right? Okay. So that's a way you can create the opportunity to get more speed to the ball, hit okay. it further, right? So what is that going to feel to you is that you're going to turn your hips more, right, on the backswing, which is winding you up more. And trust that the club's going to come in the way it's been coming uh, with the smaller swing, right? Okay. That's right. Do one more time, and I'm going to unwind you to the pro finish because you need to know what that is. Stay there. 
<laughs> pose at the end here. Good. Okay, pro finish, right? So you're here, and then maybe you're all the way wrapped around there. Okay, mm -hmm. eyeballs looking out that way. This foot all the way up like you got it. Now a lot of the tour pros finish so far around, like you're so flexible <laughs> that their chest is that way. Right. And this shoulder's closer to the hole than the left shoulder. So this shoulder's actually aiming towards the target. Towards the target. Okay. That's how much you've come through. Okay. Oh right? God. I'm yeah. like not even doing half of it. Well, you've not, not done it on purpose though, just to make solid contact, right? Yeah, because the further back I take, I, I feel like the less control I have. When you're like two miles from grandma's house, there's not a, enough breadcrumbs right now to get home. <laughs> so we go short, we just go around the block, right? Right, right. okay. So we want to stretch out the system a little bit. In other words, wind you up a little more and unwind you a little bit more. Right, see if you can nail that. Stay there, stay right there, good. Now. Let's say your ball's in the air, you just come down and relax, right? Mm -hmm. Go let the arms kind of just sag down. There you go. Okay. And there you are. So you got a new balance point, okay? So you're relaxed over your left leg. Mm -hmm. This is a, a balance point in golf. There you go. You're bouncing a little bit to kind of just really settle yourself, right? Yes. These are That's things the you can do at, yeah, at home, which would be really helpful. You know, you want to turn, you want to make a turn where we go, you know, back to the target, belt buckle over there, and then finish all the way like this. Every time, lower the arms, relax. Little phantom, little ghost swings like that. Relax my arms. I would unbend you a little and get these a little bit more there. See, when okay. I when I yeah. pull that in, that's yes. right, and that does this. <laughs> yes. Okay, so. Okay. That's it. Let it keep coming. So good. One more time. My, okay. And I follow yep. Nice. Nice. Oh. oh. <laughs> what did we do? Double the distance there? <laughs> Bingo. Yes. So, take an athlete and you get her to move a little bit better. She clicks right in. She's a Pilates expert, right? You're going to protract the shoulders? No? big words. No, no protraction. no protraction of the shoulders. Just getting you to relax. Keep him coming. Do that one more time. I want you to know. I'll show you something here. Stay there. Stay there. Okay. You know, your band of your, uh, of your visor. Mm -hmm. Okay. You ever heard of Ben Hogan? Yes. I know you have. He finishes with the shaft across the band every time. Okay. Right. And you could see your hair uh, clip or something if you don't have a visor on. Mm -hmm. But that, just the idea that that's where you're going to end, okay. your intention of like winding, unwinding so much where your, your club continues to wrap around like that would be really good. Do a practice like that. Retract your shoulder. You know what's going to happen? I'm going to hit my own head. <laughs> that's me. <laughs> I don't know about that. See this here, okay. right? It's unwound all the way, and you can see the shaft just went right around the back of his cap. So just completely letting the club just swirl around, mm -hmm. and you can see that shoulder's facing the target, like you said. Right. Right. So just kind of at least go for it in your practice swings, right? You have to be relaxed to do it. So when I'm coming down on the mm -hmm. ball. Mm -hmm. Wow, what a great question. <laughs> no, it's true that it's a crunch, right? Yeah. Feel like you're coming in like that. It naturally, well, I wouldn't say naturally, but yes, it does do that. Okay. Why? Because Are you feeling it? I, I, I feel like that when I'm driving. Um, I mean, like I even, well, now with the ball even further left, 
mm -hmm. I naturally tilt a little bit like this. Oh, I see. So, well, but here, I feel like sometimes I'm too upright. Yeah. I don't know. Like, I'm not, I'm not sure how far I'm supposed to do this. Well, do it this way. I'll show you how to, how to kind of cheat the system there. You're going to put this thing in the cradle of your arms here, mm -hmm. okay? Just like this. Yep, just like that. Perfect. Now we're going to bend you down like normal. Golf posture you, right? And let's say you wind yourself up. And as you wind up, you're going to dip the right side under. So when you like rock a baby, mm -hmm. right? And you're sitting here going, kind of just rocking the baby a little bit like this. Right. It's the same feeling you have right here. Right? So now the little baby's head is right here. You give him a little smooch on the forehead. Right? You know? So it's kind of a, a fun way to think about it because we've all cradled stuff. And really what you're doing is you're cradling something. And of course, when I bring the cradle up this side, my right side's under, right? Yes. Or tilted. There's that crunch. Right. And then you just keep coming through. There you go. Yep. Right? more at the end. Exactly. Okay. Well, we're, we're today we're winding you up and then unwinding you more. Yeah, there you go. That's really good right there. Yeah. So you stay right there. I'll show you this. Keep doing that. One of my guys uh, used to help me, a guy named Mac O'Grady, right? Mm -hmm. Really a great ball striker, savant, you know? And he would hold the club, the shaft for my eyes. And mm -hmm. so go ahead and rock it and you'll see how your eyes are going to be lined up with this thing. See? See how your eyes are lined up with the shaft? Mm -hmm. Because you're tilted over this way. Yes. He also would do it this way. Go ahead again, and you'll see the shoulders will be the same. There you go. So like this, right? Yes. Yeah. So that's quite a bit that you're doing there on purpose to, yes. to, to, to do it. Mm -hmm. So just know that if you unwind more, and then the club would follow through when you're done with that as well. But that is the correct movement for your pivot. That looks really good. Really athletic. Good. Super smooth. I don't know why I have trouble following through. That's my thing. I tense up, I think, like right around here. <laughs> well, you, you've done a lot of practices, though, on purpose. Just like when I, when I spotted you uh, last week or the week before, and you were doing a lot of stuff where you were bringing it down and had the face of the club open. And yes. You were really having this thing. You were doing stuff. Okay, but it's super short. So you're like here. So now it's like over here and all the way through, right? So I wound up all the way over there, finished it up. There we go. Why does it look like you, you're making absolutely no effort? Uh, because... And, I, and, and I know it's supposed to look like that. Right. Right? It just looks like you're doing... Oh. <laughs> well, that one felt like that, to tell you the honest truth, right? Right. But I think that's my style anyway. I'm kind of, I kind of, I hit it hard, but I look like I cruise, mm -hmm. kind of a cruiser swing. So people go, oh man, you're so smooth. But I get some speed on the ball and some force into the ball. Right. So there's other people that kind of have that more pulsy look. Yes. And get the same effect with the golf ball. But mine's more kind of a, a flow, syrupy cruiser. Right. So. Flow syrupy cruiser, huh? That's a beautiful explanation. Well, it's more, oh. you know, you can pour me over a stack of pancakes, you know? That's what kind of syrupy we're talking That's about. Like the Good. That was great right there. You see that? Come on. Yeah, that's a whole, whole other level of good stuff here. That's, you're doing it. Actually, hear the whoosh now. We could too. <laughs> Wasn't hearing that before. I think we're going heading into a down slope, though. I'm going to back you right into okay. here. Yeah. Good. Nice color of shirt, by the way. Oh, yes. I'm getting bored of black. <laughs> yeah. Here we go. Very good. Which is what you were saying. You're not hitting the ball anywhere. Well, this is why, right? You've got to wind up more, let it go, finish the swing, go Hogan with the hairband, visor. 
Nice and relaxed, maybe pull the arms underneath you soft at a dress a little more so you're not reaching. Yeah. Hey guys, thanks for watching the video. You can see uh, she got it right away. How to rock the baby, finish like Ben Hogan. That's a funny thing. You got modern instructors and you still got Ben Hogan teaching for me. <laughs> I love it. Uh, did you click the link down below? Because I've got three free videos that are gonna help your game, just like Ben helped hers, all right? If you just leave some comments and questions below, I'll get right back to you. Thanks you guys, I appreciate your coming.